watch this video don't skip it watch it to the end you'll be blessed that you watch this video god bless you us every day learn to say this every day i receive good things to me today i receive good things into my life today in the name of jesus you see the right people are coming into my world today i've got the ideas the finances the personnel that are consistent with the life that God has given me. I receive them into my way today in the name of Jesus. I declare that this day I function in God's light and in God's ways for my life. You see, some people are functioning outside the ways of God for their life. And where they are, there's a lot of trouble. There's a lot of struggle because God didn't send them that way. They're not in the divine plan. I told you, you find yourself on the wrong track, talk in tongues and get yourself out of there. Talk in tongues and use the word. Talk in tongues and use the word. I refuse to be in this place. I refuse. As you speak in other tongues, God will begin to enlighten your spirit. To show you where you ought to be, where you ought to go. Mm -hmm. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be here. Align your spirit correctly. Align your spirit correctly. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm filled with the fullness of God. I'm filled with the fullness of God. I'm filled, 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 filled with the fullness of God. Shout hallelujah. Oh, praise God forevermore. Who are you? I said, who are you? Who are you? Say this and I got an excellent mind. See, let me, share, let me tell you this. this. Some of these things that you're saying so commonly, to the minds of many, many Christians, you are boasting. They say you are boasting for nothing. You know why? And then some people say these things and they don't work. You know why? Because they don't understand that they are based on principle. You get it? They are based on principle. They are based on knowledge. Divine knowledge. That's why they're not empty words. They're important. And so when I say, say this, say this, and you say it, the reason is, I'm trying to get you to learn the right communication. You can't say these things and then go back and say some other things that contradict what you just said. You know, you get in prayer. Oh God, I know I've been confessing that I'm strong, but you know the truth, I'm really weak. I can't hide it from you. You, you, think you're being, you think you're being humble and honest. Oh God, I really want to be honest with you. I've been confessing that I'm rich. I am rich in Christ. But Lord, you can see I don't have nothing. <laughs> you know, so now you're just contradicting, repudiating all the wonderful blessings that God made available to you. And you think you're really being honest. Oh God, 
I know I've been confessing that I'm healthy and strong. But this, my sickness has been here now for five years. <laughs> you see, I just want to be honest. You know, some people talk like that. They say, um, actually, I know it's wrong for me to say. <laughs> but I just want you to know what is happening to me. <laughs> they don't understand faith. Bible says without faith it is impossible to please God you gotta understand this we don't say it so that it will become so we don't say that we are healed so that we would be healed we don't say that we are strong so that we will become strong are you listening to me we don't say that we are blessed so that we might be blessed we don't say we got money so that we will have money we don't say we have a job so that we can have it we don't say it so that it should become no he says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore speak we say it because it is so Are you listening? Faith means that you have seen it in the spirit. Faith means that you have taken a hold of it. Faith is not an empty paper. Faith is the title deed to unseen realities. It means I got the proof. I've got the proof. It is the evidence. Do you understand what I'm talking about? How can you hold the evidence and come back and say, even though I have the evidence, I am not telling the truth. That's what you're saying the Bible says yeah let God be true and every man a liar faith is the evidence you know sometimes we're trying to get somebody to sympathize with us and then we lie I know I've been saying that it is gone but the truth is it is not really gone how you you which of them do you think is the truth Because you want sympathy. Because you want prayer. So every time you see it, you say, it's still there. Faith means it's dead, even though it's there. The growth may look bigger. You say you empty growths, you're dead, dead, dead. If you stay here 10 years, 10 years, I'm going to be telling you, you are dead. And you are not a factor in my body. Say, Barack, what about when you can feel the pain? Yeah, you said, devil, make it hurt all you want to. You're not going to get me to say I'm sick. No, with his stripes, I was healed. If I was healed then, I'm still healed now. Stand your ground. Paul said to the Colossians, I've been beholding your solid front. There's a solid front of the Christian. You know what it is to present a solid front? We're not weak. We're not chickening out. We stand our ground. We present our solid front. I'm not backing off. Come on, somebody. I stand my ground in the name of Jesus. They had a solid front. They were not intimidated by their adversaries. Hallelujah. So we say it because in our spirits we have taken a hold of it. It is real. It is real. It is real. 
So don't come back and say, well, I don't know, I don't know. I thought I had it, but uh, you know, the crazy, you know, uh, 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 in our ministry, even if you're going to trouble, you see, you have to say that you have it. <laughs> you know, some people, that's the way they think. They think this is about, you know, especially for people who have been to different ministries, you know, they got a terrible time. You know, the, the, in one place, they were out there kicking the devil with their legs, you know. Then they got to another place, and then they were cursing their enemies. And then they got to another place where they had to go like this. And then they, they, they've been to several places. And then they come here, and they hear, keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. Hey, uh, they said, this is another one. In this one, we just keep saying it. We don't stop talking it. We keep saying it. Even if you're dying, you keep saying it. Yeah! Hallelujah! Can I tell you something? It's, it is better to die saying it than to live in fear. It's better. It's better to die talking God's talk than to live for the devil see in your life god said he that overcometh shall inherit all things he that overcometh what do you mean by overcometh that overcoming life is talking about is when everything walks against you and you still maintain your face and you remain unshakable, unmovable. He says, then you win. We don't, we don't speak God's word just because of this world here. This is not the end of everything. The reason for sharing the word, for, the, for believing the word, and speaking the word in our lives, is not because of things in this world. It's better to align with God. Even if you had to live in a valley somewhere unknown and unreached by anybody. What if you were in isolation? What if you were kept in prison somewhere? What if, what if, and you had nothing, no way to go out under persecution? You were locked in like Watchman Nee that they imprisoned. Did he give up his faith? No. When they waited and waited and he wouldn't give up his faith, he maintained his confession. He kept proclaiming that he was a prince. He kept proclaiming that he was a son of God. Then they said, all right. They couldn't take it anymore. They came in and pulled out his eyes and cut his tongue and cut his limbs and cut his hands and left him there to die in the prison. Guess what? He still won. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. He still won. He didn't give up his faith. So we don't say these things just because we want everything around us to be fine. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. The world belongs to you. You see that? You see, you, you are identified with your great heavenly father. That's what really matters. The joy inside your spirit. Joy doesn't come to us because our car is running fine. Joy doesn't come to us because we have nice food in the fridge. Joy doesn't come to us because everything around us is all right. We got joy on the inside because the Holy Ghost dwells inside us. Hallelujah. We are in fellowship with God. Shout amen somebody. Yeah.